Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial from TrainSignal. The following clip is from TrainSignal's PowerPoint 2007 course featuring over 13 hours of real-world PowerPoint training. In this clip, I show students how to create a pause button for an inserted movie file, allowing users to pause the video while in slideshow view. Now there's a couple more options that I'd like to show you, and these options are hidden in the Animation pane of all places. So let's go and open that up to the Animations tab, click on Custom Animation. And just from inserting this video file, we get two animation options. There's the animation for the video itself, which tells PowerPoint when to play it. And when we chose automatically, all that really did was change that animation to after previous to cause this movie to play as soon as the slide is advanced. But there's also one more animation that a lot of people aren't aware of, and that is a pause animation. Users to PowerPoint, and it tells us up here, can trigger this pause by clicking the object creating an email signature, which means during the presentation, if users want to pause the video, all they've got to do is to click directly on this image to pause that video. But here's the problem. Since we've chosen the option hide during show, the video's image disappears, so there's really nothing to tell our viewers how to begin the video again. What would be better, however, would be if we created some kind of button to trigger the pause action, rather than having the image itself be the trigger. And that's what we're going to create right now, a small pause button that will appear directly below our video. So let me press escape. So with that said, we're going to get a little bit fancy with our drawn objects. So let me minimize this video just a little bit so I have some more room for drawing. Now I'm going to go up to my Insert tab and go down to Shapes. And I'm actually going to create almost like a generic TV screen with knobs at the bottom and everything. To do that, I'm going to select my rounded rectangle shape and draw that just around the frame of my slides all the way down to the bottom there, a little bit wider. And I'm going to make the rounded edges a little bit less round, maybe about like that, and then change the color. Let's do a dark gray for the fill and the outline a lighter gray. Now I'm going to draw kind of like a TV tube in the middle, same way by using that rounded rectangle, and draw that right in the center about right like that and then use the colored fill dark one to make that completely blacked out and then i'm going to lessen the rounded edge by dragging that yellow star over to the left and now to adjust the position of our movie file on top of this kind of pseudo screen we're going to select both of these objects so we have that black Rounded rectangle, select it, hold down your shift key, and then select the gray one. And then, either by right-clicking or by going up to your range group, we're going to send this to the back. And then our video should pop up on top. And I'm just going to resize this and position it so that the video appears in the center of that black TV tube. And actually, I'm going to move this up a little bit more and make everything a little bit bigger. And there we go. Now the next object we're going to draw is a circle that's going to act as our pause button. So back up to that Insert tab, to the Shapes dropdown, we're going to choose the Circle or the Oval tool, and draw a button dead center of kind of the lower portion of our screen. And to make it a perfect circle, we're going to hold down the shift key while clicking and dragging to make it a perfect circle. And about that big will do. Now I'm going to format this picture, this oval, like, oh, that one looks nice. The intense effect accent, what is that, six? There we go. And that way it just kind of looks like a button. Next thing I'm going to add is an equal sign. So select that object and then type my equal sign. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Go up to my home tab, increase the font size, and maybe even change the font to make it a little bit more bold. Ooh, I like Arial Black. And then a little bit bigger. 
And while we're at it, I don't really like the white font color. So let's change that to something a little bit more subtle, kind of like the 50% gray, accent six. And pause buttons don't really, well, they don't look like equal signs. So another thing that we have to do to make this look like an actual pause button is to adjust the text direction. Right now it goes from left to right. So I'm going to right click, run on that button and go to my format shape option in that kind of shortcut menu. Jumping over to text box, I'm going to change the text direction from horizontal to rotate all text 90 degrees. And that way you can kind of see that down below. It looks like an actual pause button. And you can play around with the internal margins to really center the text inside the button. And to do that, I'm going to change my left down to 0.5. Ooh, that's too much. Sorry, 0 0.05. And that looks centered. Okay. Close that. And now I've got one button. Now, right now, PowerPoint considers that just a standard oval object. It's not really attached to any action yet. That's why we need to go back to our custom animation pane, select the pause animation, right click, and go all the way down to effect options. We want to jump over to the timing tab to that trigger group. Right now, it's starting the effect on click of, and it's that actual WMV file. We want to change that to oval four, that equal sign. So whenever anyone clicks this equal sign, it's going to trigger this effect to pause the video. Let's go ahead, click OK, and test that out. To create an and there's our video. And now when we take our mouse and hover it directly over that pause button, our cursor changes to the little hand, which tells users that that button is something they can click on. And when they do, the video pauses. When we click again, the video will resume. Thanks for watching. For more information about our full video courses, please visit our website at www.trainsignal.com.